Juanita! Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film, and today we'll be making sense of life through Juanita. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Interesting. Uh, interesting. I interesting. liked it. Interesting. So let's, let's, a backstory. Yeah. We watched it because we were trying to watch something that we wouldn't review. I don't right. remember why it was. Yeah. Well, we just we did it. Uh, wanted to relax. It. Yeah, just to we relax. To just watch um, stuff. We definitely weren't expecting it to be something that we, we would like as much as yeah. we liked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although when we did see the the trailer, yeah, she's, it, it was so cute. Yeah. You know, she's like a mom. Yeah, she's talking. She's breaking the fourth wall, talking to the camera. Can you believe what my life is like? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. And I could relate to a lot of things as well yeah. that she did, like the daydreaming. Yeah. I do that all the time. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. not as much now. No. Uh, no need. Um, yeah, because I but have you. <laughs> I'm the killer of daydreams. She, he's the killer of daydreams. She's daydreaming all the time because she's she doesn't have the life that she wants, yeah. you know, and she doesn't have. She's not married. I don't know where the dad is. Nobody talks about it yeah. about that. She's living in her house. Her old her old her adult kids are still living with her. One um, the daughter has her own kid, and so she then she has um, Juanita. Babysit, her, yeah. which I believe Juanita, as much as she's a grandmother and loves the kid, mm -hmm. the grandkid, is resentful of all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and I remember there's that scene where in the beginning she's like, the, the daughter's like, I'm going out, you know, yeah. with friends. I need, I need it. I deserve it. Meanwhile, she doesn't have a job, by the way. Juanita has mm -hmm. a job. And her daughter's like, no, I need it. I need to take a break. And, yeah. you know, and she's like, no. And Juanita's like, no, I want to take yeah. a break. I've had a tough That's week one of day work. Off. It's yeah. my one day off. And... And she's like, yeah, but you get the whole house to yourself. But I'm like, yeah. the whole house to yourself, but then you're taking care yeah. of a kid. That, that doesn't quite work. It's kind of manipulative language, isn't 1 it? One million percent. Yeah. So yeah, Juanita's kind of stuck in this rut where she's taking care of so many people, but no one's really taking care of her. And she finally reaches the breaking point. Yeah. And she says, you know what? My, uh, my, my daydreams aren't even doing it for me. I used to be able to <laughs> escape with the daydreams. You know, have kind of with erotic Blair, nights Blair with Blair Underwood. Underwood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then even Blair, even in her daydreams, he started to ask things over, like ask for money from her. So he's like, yeah. you know what? I gotta just get myself out of this situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, takes a bus to butt. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> boot. boot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then uh, yeah, makes a uh, kind of a new, new fresh start for herself. Mm -hmm. comes across a very small town goes to a diner kind of convinces the the owner of the diner to maybe freshen up the the the, the look menu. and the menu and everything forms a relationship with them and uh has a, has some adventures and, yeah. and uh, her life turns out not so bad yeah not so bad not so bad yeah I liked it. I like that. Isn't it even kind of, you could say daydream is even kind of like dissociating in a way. It's kind of where you're kind of, kind of taking yourself out of a situation that clearly you need to escape from. Yeah, I guess uh, so. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're going to take it that deep. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, I guess the fact that Blair Underwood starts asking her for money in yeah. the daydream. Yeah. I think that she's, her escape. <laughs> yeah. That's, that would, that's, I feel for her, that's kind of like, okay, breaking point. Yeah. The daydreams don't even work anymore. I need to get out of here. Yeah. I can't even escape through my daydreams. I need to physically remove yeah. myself from this situation. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's the kind of like a, a, a film way, a movie way of showing when someone finally has enough and the things that they would use to cope and get by and numb themselves Don't aren't doing anymore. it anymore. And then they yeah. really need to make a change, you know? Yeah. Kind of a cool way to do it, right? Yeah, it is and, a cool. It's a funny yeah. Yeah, yeah. way to do it because that does happen, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, at first you, you get this idea in your mind. You're like, that's it. I'm sick of this. I'm going to do something for myself for once. But then, you know, this the fear comes in, in and yeah. of course, inevitably, you know, she asks her friend who is really sweet to her and like, you know what? I can see that, uh, that you know, so she gives her some money and she's like, don't even worry about it. Just, you know, find something that you're looking for. Yeah, I liked the friend. I thought yeah. the friend was so great. I'm like, there are friends out there, there who do that. People. There are people who yeah. are that good yeah. of friends, honestly, yeah. because she, I mean, I think the friend has been supportive throughout, you know, um, always talking to Juanita because make no mistake, Juanita's terrible situation is because of her too. Mm. If you have people in a bad relationship, it's not just the one person, the good, sweet person that's, uh, I mean, or the bad people that yeah. are at fault. It's you yeah. too for staying yeah. in that bad situation. Takes two to Foxtrot. Exactly. Takes yeah. two to Foxtrot. Yeah. But yeah, so the friend throughout has been trying to get her to kick the kids out and to have Juanita stop enabling the kids because she really does do that. And so 
the kids have that comfort zone of knowing that mom will fix everything. Mom is always going to like, if I mess up, mom's going to be here. She's going to take care of me. I stay at her place. I don't have to pay rent. I have, she, you know, buys the food, all these things. So that is enabling the fact that she's allowing her adult kids. And then now she has to take care of her grandkid. And so, yeah, Juanita needs, at, you know, like she also needed to kind of get herself straight. Mm -hmm. So her friend has been supportive, always trying to kind of like, come on, Juanita, can't you see what you're doing right now? These kids are taking advantage of you. Yeah. These kids are adults. They now have to be independent, you know. But I was, I just thought that was really nice to have a friend like that, you know, like mm -hmm. that kind of support system. Yeah. I thought that was so heartwarming, yeah. especially because, you know, it's like a new chapter and you're like, sometimes people are like a little bit jelly bells, you know, <laughs> if, if you're not the best friend. Yeah. You're like, oh, I would want to go and do this. Yeah. And, and, but I'm not doing it when he does doing it. I'm not yeah. going to give her money. Hopefully she yeah. won't be able to go. But yeah. no, no, she completely, she's like, you need to do this for yeah. yourself. Here yeah. you go. Here's money. Here's my stash yeah. Yeah. that I've been putting which, away. Which is kind of, I would say, an argument for doing what Juanita did. Everyone should be doing that. Finding where they need to find that inner peace because it's hard to be a good friend to other people. Uh, until you have that inner peace. And I think her friend had it to a degree. Well, maybe she felt like she could also, you know, go for it because I wish I could be doing that. That's so courageous of you. But if, as long as you have a little bit of that inner peace, then you can actually support your other friends when they want to pursue something. But yeah. if you don't, then, then you're that's just going to be the envious all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that her friend, Juanita's friend, friend is quite, um, like, Juanita's friend is very, you know, she's yeah. independent. She, I, she seems very self-actualized yeah. as far as I'm concerned. She has her own business. Yeah. You know, she's independent and I'm sure if she does have kids, she's, you know, like they're out of the house and they're doing their own thing and as she encourages Juanita to do. And so, yeah, you're right. People in that situation, because she's confident in herself, everything, she's managing her life and, you know, she's making the kinds of moves that she wants to. Yeah, I think people like that do tend to be better companions. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's because it's just easier. Yeah. Yeah. Because the things that you do to push forward don't remind them of yeah. the things that they aren't doing yeah. to push forward, right? Yeah. So not only I think you should pursue what makes you happy and fulfilled and, and safe and all that kind of stuff for yourself, but so that you can be a better person to others around you. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. You know, like I, the whole movie is centered around Juanita being, oh no, people are taking, you know, taking advan mm -hmm. advantage of poor Juanita. But I'm like, but Juanita needs, it's not just the bad, the people, yeah. the kids that are taking yeah. advantage. Juanita, you know, is at fault here too. Mm -hmm. For taking it. Right? For taking it. She yeah. is enabling. Yeah. You know, she's that mom who's like, oh no, I have to protect my kids. Her mentality is kind of like, I have to, to, so, to keep nurturing my kids until they get a job, until they get an apartment and move out. Um, and so until they do that, until I know that they're going to be okay, I have to keep taking care of them. And in your mind, as that kind of person, you're thinking taking care is going to have them be comfortable enough to pursue these things that you're hoping that they're eventually going to pursue. Mm -hmm. But what I'm realizing is that that kind of um, outlook actually makes the person who you're trying to make independent less independent because yeah. they know they don't have to be yeah. because you give them everything they need yeah. as, as as much as i wish i didn't have to admit it sometimes i need a kick in the caboose everyone needs a kick in the caboodle sometimes yeah yeah you know when she does eventually leave things work out yeah. the daughter gets a job yeah. you know something that she didn't need to get it before because mom was paying for food and rent so yeah Juanita, you were also problematic here as sweet and cute as you are she's yeah. such a sweet uh like she just looks like a mom you know mm. though you just want to cuddle yeah. her. <laughs> yeah um but honestly um very surprised mm -hmm. uh with how much we actually yeah. liked the movie it was funny it was, it was fun just fun to watch. i like the characters i like that the, the 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 regulars at the diner you know they go there because it's probably the only place around and it's their hangout spot and they kind of you know, they, they say they say that they're like, I, yeah, I like that you, you're all about like French cuisine, but now that someone's bringing it up, if if you want to know my opinion, I'd actually prefer some other things as well. Yeah. You know, just bacon and eggs or something. You know, that would be nice. And you know, maybe the the the, the owner, the chef, who Juanita ends a certain relationship with, maybe he's um to try to I don't know compensate or whatever, but maybe he feels some kind of self esteem issues. He battles with alcoholism, so that's why he wants to compensate by making his restaurant very fancy and French and all these things that 
places around there wouldn't serve. You know, sometimes you get the idea of like, all successful blah 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 do this. All successful yeah, blah chef. producers. He wants to be taken seriously. Taken seriously, as chef. So be taken seriously. Yeah, I'm everything do, has to be yeah. in French. The the whole menu yeah, has yeah. to be in French. Yeah, because of course he has this vision, right? Yeah. Like obviously, I think he was thinking it's the outskirts of mm -hmm. wherever they are, yeah. and people might travel from all the yeah. way from New York to come yeah. to this special French yeah. restaurant. I think that's probably that was probably the, the idea. The idea, yeah. but it's like but sometimes you have to just accept where you are and the situation. I think there's yeah. a bit of like. You're kind of a rusty spoon situation where you're at, and that's okay. Yeah. You know? Be a rusty spoon. It means you can build a community, and, and if you like living here, then just accept that most of your clientele will just be the people that live around here. Yeah. You know? So be just that 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 rock in the community where people can, you know, go for their for their breakfast and they know what they're gonna get. Yeah, because when she when he does do that, adjust his menu, people start coming in, you yeah. know? Like and yeah. it's full all all the time people are quite happy yeah so yeah yeah um adjust your vision i guess mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and it's okay it's yeah. okay to do that yeah the thing that was also interesting to me was that she left i'm of the view that if you want to deal with something you have to deal with it mm -hmm. instead of this, uh, yeah. run away from it yeah. so one I, I really she did run away from that yeah. situation from yeah. her kids and yeah. all that stuff instead of kind of dealing with it and saying, just get out of my house, yeah. she just escaped. Yeah. But I feel like, to be fair, um, sometimes it is really hard to make a change when you're in, you're come, still when you're still in living that in that uh, situation. Space, yeah. yeah, in that space. And so sometimes as much as running away physically doesn't necessarily make a difference, it's a start mm -hmm. because then you can remove yourself from that situation and go somewhere where you can think clearly, yeah. analyze the thing that you were trying to get out of and mm -hmm. find a, a, situa a way to resolve it so so there is that mm -hmm. yeah at the end of the day i think the movie wasn't really trying to go super deep no, so obviously no. there are lots of things which yeah um, that they kind of maybe don't go into as much as they could or should but yeah you know they, they still they flavored a, a nice story about kind of recapturing your your zest for life and 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 being true to yourself and what you need and yeah. they just sprinkled it with a lot of good a lot of good stuff yeah. A lot of good situations, details, sweet, characters, a people. A lot of sweet things. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what we thought of one. Uh, some of the mm -hmm. things that we uh, we conjured up from it. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Or if you've seen it, what was some of the stuff that you got from it? Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. But until next time, that's a wrap. <laughs>